Hey guys, it's Shane from Jake's Journeys. Yes, I'm back in Australia. And I'm back here today at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Here today to give you some updates on what's been happening uh, with the Flash Speed Force and Wizard of Oz. Also a quick look around the park as well. Don't forget, I have a number of USA videos still to be released, including uh, Universal Studios videos for the likes of Super Nintendo World, uh, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and many, many more within Universal Studios. Plus, also, there's other videos uh, I've got there around Hollywood and other attractions as well. So make sure you stay subscribed to Jag's Journeys and look out for all of the videos over the next couple of months. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. Alright, so here we are at the Flash Speed Force. Now, as I uh, dropped on Instagram during the week, the walls are down now, so this is fantastic. We can now walk right up to the Flash and Reverse Flash. Now, this is pretty cool. So, yeah, obviously, we watch these going in and getting put in. Some people have commented on how they look. I think they look awesome. So, uh, as you know, I'm all about positivity on this channel and myself, and I think they look pretty awesome. I think Movie World have done an awesome job of these. I think they look amazing. Now they have actually, as you know, have been doing testing on the ride. And in fact, yesterday they started testing with staff. All right, so what this means is potentially, this could only be around about a week away from opening. Also, I mean, I haven't got an exact date, obviously, says opening soon still on there so I'm thinking about a week so maybe if I visit next week it could already be open it might I might soft open during the week you just never know this is very exciting by the way you probably can't see it too much in camera but there's all these LED lights coming up and down here which is really cool it just adds so much to this entryway uh, obviously it's gonna look the best at night and uh, obviously it's not really open at night often at all Unless it's a nighttime event like a Friday night or something like that, or what, Christmas. But anyway, this is already, they have been doing a lot of testing. So obviously, they're doing uh, all the compliance on the ride and commissioning of the ride. So that's really, really exciting. So through here, you can see some of the artwork uh, that we could see earlier on. Let's try and get a closer look at that. So there is a lot of artwork and theming that is in the precinct in there definitely looking really good and i did post this yesterday also uh on instagram so uh, obviously they've got the safety sign up now for the flash speed force interestingly the the maximum height on this ride is 196 centimeters so um i mean i'm not quite at that but i'm nearly at that uh so i've got a number of subscribers that have already uh, message me uh, and friends that are also uh, taller than that who, who unfortunately then will not be able to ride this ride due to their height being too tall so other than that just pretty much standard accessible entry via the ride exit via a platform so that's really awesome they do have parent swap as well uh, and yeah you are uh, pretty much 140 to 196 centimeters so it's a pretty uh, limited uh, height there to ride the Flash Speed Force. However, that's okay. It's definitely going to help Movie World with the crowds, particularly in the, uh, the peak season. So uh, another attraction absorbs more people and puts less pressure on the park. Well, I'll tell you what, it's so exciting to see the progress that's happened since my last visit uh, before my American trip. So uh, this is all, yeah, looking really good and definitely will be open real soon. Now, by the way, at the moment, the Superman Escape roller coaster is down on maintenance, 
uh, be doing some work to the queuing area and getting rid of the lockers in there. Posted that on Instagram as well. So at the moment, the ride is down and there's actually no reopening date as yet. But we will keep you informed when we know. At least we can actually walk through to the Superman area, even though the ride is closed. We can still walk through here. There's nothing telling that we, we can't. So we're going to check out now what's been happening with the Wizard of Oz uh, precinct and construction uh, since my last visit here prior to the US trip. So, uh, and again, you can also get a good vision now of the Flash Speed Forces. All the hoarding is now down. So this is really exciting. They haven't started on the locker work yet in there, by the way. So uh, again, they're removing the lockers. It doesn't mean they're now allowing loose items on the ride. It just means that they're gonna basically make a better, more efficient queuing area so that people aren't queued right out in the main street. Basically, it'll be a better operational system of queuing inside there. Uh, you will still be unable to take loose items on the Superman Escape ride. All right, so it's gonna be great to get a closer look here at the Flash Speed Force. Not currently testing, however, they have been testing and no doubt will be testing, hopefully later today as well. Um, they actually had staff testing on here yesterday, like I mentioned before. So that indicates that this will be open very, very soon. It's definitely great to see this whole area actually finished. So all the landscaping's been done, the exit ramps now in, the new pathways are done as well. And the ride's ready to go. As I said before, they're testing. So they haven't announced an actual opening date yet. Uh, if I'm gonna put uh, my spin on it, or wh what my thoughts are, I reckon could it even be within a week. Now it could be longer than that, of course. They might hold off longer for the maybe the June July holidays but I think they won't I think it probably will potentially could open in a week or so again when we know we'll let you know and once again if you are in a wheelchair uh, or you need help getting onto the road you come up the exit queue here and there's a ramp for accessible entry which is pretty cool So again, Flash Speed Force looking awesome and I reckon it's literally um, not far away. Now let's check out what's been happening with the Wizard of Oz just over my shoulder. So Flight of the Wicked Witch, you can see more now from this angle. Uh, we've obviously posted uh, plenty of these uh, photos and videos before. Um, you can see in there though, they are doing a lot more of the actual building construction the framework up there so that's really cool definitely there's been a lot of progress in this area all right so you can see the kansas twister here uh peeking up above the building so remember this is a dueling coaster and boomerang coaster as well so um potentially i guess the ride i'm not sure which way it starts so that might be the start point there uh, where it goes up and then does the track forwards and then comes up to the top of these ones here potentially and then it does it backwards again and it races the other coaster uh, and obviously they have been doing the construction again on the ride dispatch station inside there as well there's been a lot of work going on and movie world also released a bit of a teaser uh, online just recently of uh, what the what the land is going to look like and it looks pretty awesome i must say so uh we're very excited to see this moving ahead really fast and they did also show us what the uh, roller coaster trains look like for uh, the Kansas Twister. They look like little tractors there suiting the, uh, the farm, uh, I guess, theming in there. So that looks really cool as well. And we're really excited for this area. Again, opening at the back end of this year, 2024. Haven't got an exact opening date yet, but uh, when we know, we'll let you know. So as far as we know, this is where the yellow brick road will actually be and it will go right through there to the land of Oz and of course that's where we know that that archway will be with the rainbows that they'll walk through and I think that looks pretty awesome and that will reveal the land of Oz. Well as you can see they are still working hard to get this area ready and it's really good to see now that when we look over this part of the fence that there's lots of work starting to happen 
in this area as well. So behind me here will be the entrance uh, to uh, Wizard of Oz. So essentially you'll come through the Superman and you'll come this way and follow the Yellow Brick Road. So hopefully they will actually have a Yellow Brick Road that takes you to the entranceway, which will be like an archway just past there. So it'll take you into the precinct. It's gonna look amazing. So from what we've seen, the theming looks outstanding and uh, definitely we cannot wait to check out the Wizard of Oz. And again, we'll keep you updated here on Jag Journeys with uh, many updates now that we're back in Australia and you'll have regular updates on this channel. So stay tuned to Jag's Journeys. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, we will provide you with regular updates of what's happening in all the Gold Coast theme parks with all the right construction and everything that's happening for all the new rides and attractions. Plus, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I've got a stack of USA content coming out from Universal Studios, Warner Brothers Studios, and other attractions around Hollywood and LA as well. So again, make sure you stay, stay tuned to Jake's Journeys. All right, so while we're here today, we'll just have a very quick look around the rest of the park uh, to update you on a couple of other things. Hi guys, by the way, just a quick one. This is just temporary, by the way. Uh, they're just doing some roof repair work here inside the department store. If you walk in here and go, oh, there's a big wall up here. What's going on? Are they making the store bigger? No, they're not. They're just doing some repairs um, to the ceiling, which obviously they've had to remove the merch uh, from that part of the store so they can do their work. Uh, so at the moment, it's a little bit smaller than usual, but it's only temporary and it shouldn't be too long at all before the department store will be back as normal. Now here at Movie World, you never know who you'll bump into and what do you know, there's Catwoman and we haven't seen Catwoman for so long so it's great to see you back here. I'm back in Movie World, been away for a while. Wonderful to see you again. Stretch it out, absolutely. Hope you have an awesome day today. I can't wait to see you later on in your show. All right, so before we head further into the park to show you what other updates has been happening here, uh, Roxy Theatre, Tom and Jerry 4D Experiences is now on. Make sure you check that one out. Uh, apparently that's pretty cool. I have to check that out soon as well myself. So Tom and Jerry 4D blowing up in real life. And uh, anyway, right now it's time to get a coffee. Hey guys, I just want to give a really big shout out to Ruskin, Lisa and Jaden, also to BJ and to Cal and Cambo. Thank you all so much for buying me coffees this week. It is greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate your support for Jag's Journeys. And if anyone else would also like to support my channel just like they did, the link is in the description below. It's also on screen now. By buying me coffees, definitely helps me bring more videos just like this and helps me get to other locations as well to provide more awesome content for you. All right, so we're down at the, uh, near the Kids WB area now. Uh, we've, we've featured this area before that there's, you know, there was uh, some demolition here and these walls have been up for months and months and months. Now, uh, as we reported, probably a month or so ago, they've started demolishing um, the, the first aid. So that's now gone and been relocated around near the games area. So this site here now is vacant and this is where they are definitely putting an arcade so there will be an arcade here now in the kids WB area once this is obviously built and finished so this is a great addition for the kids WB area um, right next door to the, to the lolly shop as well which is great so you're about to play all the games and you're about to go in there and get all your you know novelty candies and all that kind of thing as well so that's pretty cool so yeah we'll uh, we'll keep you updated um, over the next you know so, so many months that this will take to build it may even take six months or so um you never know this hopefully may be uh open for christmas i think that might be what they might be trying to plan to do it would kind of make sense that this would be open for christmas um so hopefully it will be um although it's a it's a pretty decent sized uh project by the way so anyway we'll keep our eye on this on our uh weekly visits here to movie world by the way guys there are a number of rides down on maintenance currently here at movie world uh, but if you go onto the app and uh, check out the ride maintenance schedule. Um, they've just updated it recently and it's a really easy to follow now on there. So there's a, basically an overview or a summary now, as soon as you go into there on how many rides are down and how many are operational. And then you can click further into that and then it gives you the breakdown 
uh, of the dates that they'll be reopened again as well. So I really like what they've done there. It looks awesome, and I think it's just easier for people to check out. Uh, it's a lot easier to read, so if you're coming to the parks, you can check that out, and then at least you know what to expect on the day of your visit. All right, so I'm down here at the WB Studio Showcase. Since my last visit, this is now closed. It closed at the end of April whilst I was in the USA. So unfortunately, you can no longer walk through here and check out all the costumes and vehicles and props. That is now closed. We don't know what's happening with this, whether there will be another studio showcase. We're thinking possibly not. Um, hopefully, the plan might be to utilize all of this area including the doomsday ride which you know we, again we don't know what's happening with that it's still closed and there's no uh, date uh, of any opening and, and we, we don't we know it hasn't been operational um, properly or a lot so perhaps movie world might be thinking of redeveloping this area uh, and i tell you what if they did that'd be amazing because it's such a massive area in there plus with all this as well they could really do something amazing in here not even just one ride potentially even two rides Possibly. Obviously, it depends on what kind of, um, I guess, finance or uh, investment um, their company is willing to put into it. But um, so, anyway, just letting you know that is now closed and finished. However, if you do want to still have a look at a video of this, I do have uh, videos of this on my channel, but also just about to release a Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood video. Uh, in fact, the time you're watching this video, it's probably already going to be up. Um, so that features a massive DC collection there. There's the latest Batmobile that was actually used in, I think it was the Superman, Batman, uh, latest movie that was out. Uh, all the original costumes and props, and again, all screen news, not replicas. So look out for that on this channel. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to Jag's Journey. So that would be Warner Brothers Studio to a Hollywood. Make sure you check out that video. Um, it is awesome. There's so many cool things to see in there, and there's a massive DC section with, with all the superheroes as well. So make sure you check that out. And when you do come down to Movie World uh, for the Flash ride opening, which hopefully won't be far away, make sure you pick up some Flash merch from their retail stores. This stuff here is located in the DC Superheroes store right at the front of the park. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for my look today here at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Uh, really awesome to see all the progress on the Flash Speed Force and also on the Wizard of Oz as well. Also, it's really good to see that there is now work happening on the arcade in the Kids WB area. So that's really exciting. Lots of awesome things happening here at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast. Uh, now that I'm back from America, uh, I'll be doing more regular uh, updates from the Gold Coast theme parks and we'll keep you up more up to date with all of the construction and ride openings and all that sort of thing as well. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, therefore, you'll be always kept up to date. Also, uh, I do have a lot of USA content still to be released, uh, particularly for Universal Studios, for the likes of Super Nintendo World, Wizarding World, Harry Potter, uh, Simpsons Land. We've got a lot more content coming for Universal. Also, there'll be more content coming out for around Hollywood. Uh, while I was there, I visited a number of other attractions as well, so uh, be sure to stay subscribed or subscribe if you're not to Jag's Journeys uh, for all that awesome content. Also, if you'd like to support my channel which uh, through Buy Me A Coffee, which helps me get to places like Hollywood, you can do so through the Buy Me A Coffee links as well. It's always greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey.